What's going on guys, World Legends TV here. Back with another video for you. Back with an ATF and Force Reset Trigger update, unfortunately. But as you can tell by the title, we have confirmation from the ATF of an actual uh, inventory that was taken from Big Daddy Unlimited. So before we get into it, I wanna say thanks to all my new subscribers. To everybody who's been liking and commenting on all my videos, I really appreciate it. We're on the road to 2,000. I think if we get to 2,000 before the end of March, I'm going to do something for y'all. Maybe maybe a giveaway, uh, maybe partner with some folks uh, and try to do something uh, for, for the viewers. Really appreciate y'all. Y'all what make this channel tick. Y'all make this a family. I always say welcome to the Rural Legends family because we're a community, we're a group of folks who have similar ideologies and some of y'all may may not agree totally with what some of us are saying or what I'm saying, but you know, as every good family, there's conflict, there's strife, but we stick together and we stay there for each other. So like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hitting that subscribe button takes a second out of your day. It helps fuel the algorithm or algorithm's rhythm. And it shows YouTube overlords that what I'm putting out and the information that I'm putting out is interesting to y'all. And it shows them that the Second Amendment community cannot be stopped. Now, I want to get going into what I've got today, what was just kind of released this morning. Uh, this come from, uh, well, the ATF. This is an official... ATF release, and I will have that linked in the description box below. So jump down there in the description box below, take a look at it for yourself if you don't believe me. But I'm going to have right here some screenshots of a list. This is a 19 page list from the ATF of forfeitures, forfeitures uh, conducted by the ATF. And first thing, the very first thing on that page, after all of the, you know, text and legal jibber jabber and stuff like that, is forced reset triggers. Now, you can see up here at the top, we have Big Daddy Unlimited as the uh, plaintiff, I would assume would be the term. Uh, and we have wide open triggers labeled as machine guns, of course, no serial number. Interestingly enough, though, and there's a lot of them, there's a lot of them, and we start in Gainesville, Florida, and we go through a couple other towns, I think three in total, Gainesville, Okalaka, maybe, I'm trying to go off of just memory since I don't have it in front of me right now, but we've got wide open triggers, machine guns. Look down here below, I took a snippet from the uh, later down in pages, and we have a rare breed forced reset trigger 15 FRT 15, not labeled as a machine gun. Interesting, right? I think there's actually something to this, and we'll get into that in just a second. But there's 19 pages of triggers that we're taking, guys. I did the math. We have almost 2,000 triggers. 2,000 triggers. That's 2,000 triggers that were taken by the ATF. Now, I assume, I assume that, that, you know, Big Daddy is true to their word and they didn't give up any customer information. Would I bet the farm on that? Probably not, okay? Just keep that in mind. Y'all do with this information how you see fit. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not legal advice, I'm not telling you to do anything. You live your life how you please, son, but, you know, I'm just telling you what I know. Now, we got... The, we got 2,000 triggers being taken. But why, now why, is the wide open trigger labeled as a machine gun, but the FRT-15 is not, when the FRT-15 really sparked this whole debate. Now, I think a lot of this has to do with not even, you know, like government oversight or, you know, whatever. I think it has to do with the fact that the rare breed case is still ongoing in court. You know, there's a court battle going on. And so I wonder if there's not some kind of operation going on between, you know, with, with, with labeling. I think maybe if, okay, so I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. I'm not a lawyer. I can't say what a lawyer should or shouldn't do. But in my mind, my hillbilly mind, uh, I think that the, not labeling as a machine gun would be beneficial to rare breed, right? So if I'm if I'm one of rare breed attorneys, I'm gonna take that paper into court. And I'm gonna be like, hey, look, look, I want a on a, uh, a daggone uh, uh, ATF document. It, it says it ain't even a machine gun. They don't even call it a machine gun themselves. So why are we having this conversation about it being a machine gun when in an official document released to the public, they don't label it as a machine gun? 
that's just my two cents. I don't know if there's any ground to stand on with that. Hey, hell, I maybe, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Shit. Neither are you, probably. If there are lawyers out there, please let me know. And I, I don't mean YouTube lawyers or, you know, you didn't get your, if you got your degree from an actual law school, fine. But if you didn't get your degree, you know, if you got your degree from Google University, yeah, we, we probably ought not talk to you. But anyway, guys. Interestingly enough, I really, I wonder what's going on with it, but 2,000 triggers, shit, man. I mean, I would not be betting the farm that the ATF is not going to start moving to uh, maybe smaller retailers now. I, I just, you know, they they went after Tommy Triggers. Tommy Triggers is not big enough to fight. And Tommy just ain't, he, he ain't going to do it. He ain't going to fight. Um, and they have really not gone after Rare Breed. You know, so it's kind of one of those things like, okay, they didn't go after Rare Breed. They went after Tommy. They went after BDU. Why aren't they going after Rare Breed? It's almost like they know they can't win this fight. And I think they do. I think they know they can't win this fight. Almost like they're waiting for legislation to come down from the Senate. Something that's going to help them. You know, I don't know. It's 2022. Shit's fucked. Quite frankly, shit's fucked. So, you know. I don't know where we're going with this, with, with the ATF, I should say. I know where we're going with a lot of things, but I don't know where the ATF is going with this. It, it, it seems like they're doing a bunch of, there's no order to the way they're going after FRTs. It's unlike anything they've done in the past. It's unlike the solvent traps. It's unlike uh, uh, bump stocks. It's unlike, you know, the, 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 what was that rifle? The shit. That rifle that they said was illegal, you know, that kind of thing. I just, I don't understand what they're doing. I don't think anybody understands. Hell, I don't even think the ATF understands what they're doing. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me. You jump in the comment section. What the hell is going on? From your perspective, what are y'all seeing? Uh, I'd love to hear what y'all are thinking. So, y'all know the deal. Stay armed. Stay safe. Keep your heads on swivel. Other than doing what they want, y'all be good. We'll see you in the next one.